Hey guys, Mr. DeMeo, and today I'm going to talk to you about the Bermuda Triangle. Oh yes, the Bermuda Triangle. Not to be confused with the Kentucky Rectangle, the African Rhombus, the Tibetan Oval, the Portland Octagon, the Denver Decagon. Let's just do this thing already. What are you doing? This is the last of one of my favorite drinks, High C Ecto Cooler. They don't even make it anymore. Man, it'd be a shame if somebody came along and... Hey, is there any yellow dye in this stuff? It makes me crazy. What? That was the last of my Ecto Cooler. They don't even make that stuff anymore. Where are we gonna find it? Relax, I know a place that just might have it. Papa John's. Wait, don't you mean Papa John's? That's what I said. Popper John's. What? This video is supposed to be about the Bermuda Triangle, not Popper John's. Oh yeah, let me do that again. The Bermuda, the Bermuda Triangle. Triangle. Ooh, I've heard of this place before. A ton of spooky stuff has happened here. Like that. Or that. I think there is something by my butt down here. What? You know what, I doubt we'll find anything useful in the Bermuda Five Bagels. You are wrong! He said the Bermuda Triangle. It's a mysterious area of the ocean where many ships and planes have disappeared. And you really think in the middle of this thing there's gonna be a ton of high sea ecto cooler? To quote the late Albert Einstein, there's a ton of ecto cooler in the middle of the Bermuda Triangle. Huh? Albert Einstein definitely never said that. How do you know? Did you ever meet him? No, he died like 30 years before I was born. So take my word for it. The man loved his ecto cooler. <sighs> so, Roberta, how big is the Bermuda Triangle? Well, the Bermuda Triangle covers 500,000 square miles. That's about five times bigger than the state of Wyoming. Wow! 500,000 square miles? This is the Bermuda Triangle. Shouldn't it be triangle miles? Can anybody tell me what's wrong with this picture? So why is it called the Bermuda Triangle? While it doesn't have an exact location, the name comes from the triangle shape the area covers in the Atlantic Ocean, roughly between Florida, Puerto Rico, and Bermuda. Wow, I always heard that this place was so mysterious. I wish I could find out why. Well, if you're so curious about the Bermuda Triangle, why don't you ask him? I ask who? Him. Hang on, hang on, let me uh, get it. Okay, all right, go ahead. Who are you? That's funny. I, uh, ask myself the same thing every morning in the mirror. Get it, because I'm depressed and sad. Anyway, uh, have you seen my glasses around here or anything? But you're not even wearing glasses. Oh, yeah, I, uh, dropped them to the bottom of the ocean. Hey, uh, I heard you're, uh, curious about me. I am. Can you tell me about some of, like, the famous disappearances? Times when boats and planes, like, disappeared? Okay, sure. It's not like I was uh, busy or anything. Uh, let's start with the uh, USS Cyclops. In March of 1918, a Navy cargo ship called the USS Cyclops disappeared in the area of the Bermuda Triangle. Hmm. I wonder why this ship is called the USS Cyclops. Did somebody say Cyclops? Oh yeah, now I remember. The Cyclops had the uh, ability to send out a call to other ships that it needed help, but the ship never did. It just vanished out of nowhere. Bermuda, Bahama, kill my pretty mama. Barry, quick, call for help. Okay, okay, okay. But only after this song. Key Largo, Montego, baby, why do we go? Nothing from the ship washed up on shore or anything. What's even weirder is, in 1941, two ships that looked pretty much exactly the same as the USS Cyclops also mysteriously disappeared very close to the same location. There you go, kids. If you get a bad grade on a spelling test and don't want to show your mom and dad, throw it in the Bermuda Triangle. And those aren't the only times someone has gone in there and disappeared. What? There are a bunch of other strange stories where someone has gone into the Bermuda Triangle and vanished. On December 5th, 1945, 
Five U.S. Navy Avenger bombers mysteriously vanished while they were on a training mission. Follow me, everyone. I know a shortcut. Whee! The flight was led by Lieutenant Charles Taylor, who kept in contact on the radio until all of a sudden, the radio went silent. And he was gone. My favorite movie of all time is Air Bud, Air Bud 2, Air Buddies, Air Buddies 2. For the last time, Lieutenant, this is for emergencies only. I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to that squirrel over there. And later on, another rescue plane was sent out to look for them. But it never made it back either. What? More and more people kept looking, but disappearing. And in the end, a total of 27 men disappeared without a trace. Great, and we're smack dab in the middle of this thing. Relax. People fly over the uh, Bermuda Triangle all the time nowadays. You'll be fine. You say that, but so many people have gone missing inside you. Well, here's the deal. Yes, people uh, have gone missing inside of me, but... Scientists and historians agree that the same amount of people go missing in other parts of the ocean, too. It's just the kind of thing where I get blamed for everything. Yeah, I hear you on that. One time, some chicken parmesan went missing in my mom's refrigerator, and my dad still blames me for it. I really hate it, though. He doesn't know. He doesn't know I hate it. You want to know who sells chicken parmesan? Who? Popper John's. <gasps> Ugh. So, how many planes and boats have gone missing in the Bermuda Triangle? The scary thing is, we aren't even really sure. Your, uh, pet microwave is right. What?! No one really knows how many boats and planes have gone missing inside the Bermuda Triangle. And the even weirder thing is, no one even knows what caused these things to go missing. Well, what are some of the theories that causes stuff that goes in the Bermuda Triangle to disappear? Egg. What? Did he just say egg? What? I didn't say egg. What, are you crazy? Come on. Okay, let's try this again. What are some of the theories on what causes stuff that goes into the Bermuda Triangle to disappear? Egg. Nah, I'm just kidding. I really said egg before. But here, listen to this. The truth is, there are a bunch of theories on what causes stuff to go missing. But scientists still aren't 100% sure. I'm going to invent a cheeseburger plant. What? Shouldn't we be working on the Bermuda? Uh, never mind. Some people blame aliens, sea monsters, pirates, the magnetic rocks that Bermuda is made of, or even electronic fog. Most of that stuff is totally fake, but the leading theory involves compasses. Compasses help people figure out which way is north. Well, it's true that in certain parts of the Bermuda Triangle, their compasses get messed up. This may have caused people to get lost and crash. But still, the most likely thing to happen to all those missing boats and planes is either bad weather or accidents. Speaking of accidents, we're looking for some ecto-cooler we accidentally lost and figured if it was going to be anywhere, it would be in the Bermuda Triangle. You mean this? <gasps> Where did you find all that? Some weird guy gave me it. But who would give you... Water balloons! Hey, I know I haven't seen you in a long time, water balloon guy, but where's Andy? Two hours later. There's nothing like some fresh cooked Popper John's. Hey, look, it's a bunch of triangles because it's a Bermuda Triangle facts. Anyway, do you think you know your Bermuda Triangle facts? Test your knowledge in Mr. DeMeo's Bermuda Triangle quiz on his Teachers Pay Teachers site. He has a bunch of other quizzes and worksheets for his other videos there, too. Check the description box for a link. Also, I hid a coupon code for Mr. DeMeo's t-shirts in this video. Try to find it. It's in red and has the hashtag symbol before it. Good luck. You can use the coupon on Mr. DeMeo's t-shirts, like this cool bird shirt shirt shirt, Roberta pillow, and more. 
You can check out all, all that stuff on Mr. Mayo's Teespring. Check the description box for a link. And last, special thanks to Mr. DeMeo's patrons on Patreon. They made the creation of this video possible. Special thanks to Harry, Nadia and Hannah, Wesley C, Chris F, Cass, Gunner, Autumn, and Ainsley, Mrs. Brown's First Grade, Aria and Kieran, Michelle and Conrad, Dean Scandalakis, and Zeno the Shark. Do you want to become a Patreon on Patreon and help this channel? All contributions go towards the creation of more videos for kids. Signing up gets you a chance to see videos early, see behind the scenes, pick Mr. DeMeo's next topic, and more. Check the description box for a link. <laughs> Wakata, wakata, wakata.